hopefully this goes smoothly. He's done it a million times in his life, but I've never done it, so. <laughs> I'm sorry, my brain malfunctioned. Shut it off, Nat. Nothing ever goes as fast or smoothly as you think it should. Hey everybody, welcome back to A Boulder Life. Thanks for joining us. Today we need to get as much wiring done as we can outside because we have rain coming tomorrow. There's a 70% chance and it's supposed to rain uh, on and off all week. So we're gonna start off by mounting our combiner box. We got the Midnight Solar combiner box. Lineman's pliers, also known as an electrician's hammer. Our pipe run is 130 feet and the wire we're pulling through is 8 gauge for the conductors and we're going to do a 6 gauge ground. So we're using some, what's called jet line. This should be plenty strong enough. We're going to use a shop vac and we're going to make what's called a mouse. We're going to use this uh, Ace, the expensive place. Uh, grocery bag and we're gonna make a mouse and I've done this plenty of times uh, when I was doing electrical and when I was doing fire alarm season up there so okay we're gonna cut it about here all right And I like to, there's different ways you can make these mouses, mice, I don't know, it's not, it's not a real mouse. We'll say mice, there's plenty of different ways to make them. So, I like to take these little chunks and put them on the inside. Helps keep the, uh, the mouse uh, from uh, collapsing. You know, it'll keep it more of a bubble. You don't want it too much or it'll get stuck in the pipe and it won't come out the other end. You take the uh, jet line. You're just going to tie it around it. Believe it or not, this will actually go pretty far in a conduit. So I like to do that. Just one little knot and I'll cut off some of this excess here. Okay, then I like to fold the wire down, or not the wire, the, the jet line. Get some electrical tape to keep that one, it keeps your knot intact because it's you want as small of a knot as possible and you don't want to use too much tape either so you're trying to keep it light but at the same time you're trying to reduce friction because the string was poking out that way and that could hit on every joint in the pipe and then uh, come here and cut the rest of that string off and we got a mouse we are ready to pull the jet line through the pipes. So Jacob's over at the solar panels. I'm here and I'm supposed to feed this through. Um, and he has a shop vac on the other side that like sucks it through. This is how he did it as an electrician. They have a little grocery bag, little puffy 
<laughs> and apparently it sucks it right through. So hopefully this goes smoothly. He's done it a million times in his life, but I've never done it. So this is getting exciting that we're pulling wire. The panels are all up. We just have to start connecting things. And yes, we will have power here in the next week-ish. And I am so excited. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna turn the shop back on and put it on the pipe. You should start feel start to feel the uh, airflow. Okay. Or well, it won't be blowing. It'll be sucking my way, right? Right, right. I got gotcha. you. Nah. Yes. Got it. You got to use the radio, otherwise I don't know if you're getting the message. I'm sorry, my brain malfunctioned. I answered, I just didn't push the button. <laughs> I'm sorry, my brain malfunctioned. I answered, I just didn't push the button. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, once you feel the air, put the mouse in. Ready? Got it. Oh, there it goes. Say that again. It's not going. How far did it go? A few feet, maybe. Maybe we need to switch places. Okay, I'm coming to you. Well, that, that goes technical difficulties. Take two. Now I get to do the back room sucking. Jacob will feed it. Come back to the shed. I gotta make a new mouse. Take three. Made a new mouse. Hopefully it works. Shut it off, Nat. All right, so in situations like this, it's not getting past the first 90, and that, that's that been sitting there for over a year. Something might have gotten to the pipe, I don't know. So I'm going to take a fish tape and uh, run it back and forth in there, see if it knocks anything loose that might be blocking it. Fish tape went through fine. Attempt number four. Okay, I've been in the shed with the mouse, I've been out at the solar panels with the vacuum, and now I'm back in the shed with the vacuum. We'll see if going the other direction will make the mouse flow smoother. Take number five. We're so close! <laughs> he said it went through pretty far. We're pretty sure it's just right under the concrete slab. Number six. 
Try number six. <laughs> okay, turn it back on. Nothing ever goes as fast or smoothly as you think it should. I think I got something. Ah, ah there it is! So we got the head made up here. We're gonna use the jet line to pull it in. And this is kind of a, a little bit on the larger side for jet line, but it should work. But we do have one worry. And that is, as you saw earlier, we had trouble getting the jet line through with the vacuum. And we're pretty sure somebody dropped something on the pipe right here. <laughs> and we've got four kids, so. We can't point fingers. <laughs> yeah. Um, man, it, it would have gone. And pushing the fish tape in there to fish this out, I could feel that it was pushing something further into the pipe. So hopefully this will make it. If whatever is in there, what if it wasn't there, this would be smooth sailing because I checked everything. I made sure there was no dirt in the pipe when we glued them up and put them in the ground. The only thing I didn't check was the 90 right here that was already cemented in, right? So what you're going to do, I'm going to start pulling. You got to, you're going to, you pull the wire, kind of get it up here and you feed it down, right? Okay. We're ready. Okay. All right. I switched into a sh orange shirt short sleeve because I'm expecting to break a sweat here. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah, almost here. There we go. Look at that. While the sun is still up, I could put these lay-in lugs in now. Every single panel by code is supposed to get them. And if you look, there are holes right there. That right there is a grounding symbol. So wherever you see that, you're supposed to ground. I need to get one of these on every single panel. And that is 30 of them. Much better. Only 29 more. Good morning, everybody. It's been a couple days. Last I told you, there was supposed to be a lot of rain, or at least it was like a 70% chance, right? which was supposed to be yesterday. And uh, so yesterday I spent a whole bunch of time in town running around, getting all sorts of little parts and stuff that I need. 
uh, for this uh, solar equipment here. So my focus is going to be getting as much of this wire ran as I can up on this board. And there's a bunch of it on the ground there. I got some some crimping to do. Got a crimp tool. Unfortunately, it is not big enough to crimp this 4 out wire. I'll have to see if uh, one of the electrical suppliers rents out a crimp tool. That would be awesome if they do. I'll have to save my bacon. So yeah, we got a, a mess of wires here to, to get installed. And there's Eli. He was with me all day yesterday, huh? Did we drive all over town? Yeah? I don't have a crimper big enough for 4 -aught. But I just called one of the electrical suppliers in town to see if they would rent me one. And uh, turns out they're just going to let me use it free of charge. Same place I got my, my crimps from. I gotta get, I got most of my four out I have to length. I did that yesterday. I gotta cut to length. And then I'm gonna strip off the ends just so it's ready. And I'm gonna go there and I'm just gonna crimp them on in their parking lot. And get it done. Got a lot of these to do, so. I'll see you in a little bit. Hey! How's it coming? Slowly. Slowly. <laughs> surely. I've got uh, three cables ready. Welding wire is made to be exposed, whereas THHN is supposed to be in conduit. Oh. Look, I learned something new today. There you go. You're now an apprentice electrician. Yes. And Eli's your boss. Is that true, Eli? <laughs> Are you the boss around here? <laughs> Look at that. Got it on. <laughs> Came right up to where I cut the jack jacket off. And that's how I want them. And you shouldn't have any strands sticking out in here. That's, uh, that's a hazard. All right, check it out. I'm at the electrical store and they're letting me borrow this. So we're gonna crimp away here. Not ready to go. Start on small, buddy. Got it set to four aught. Looks like it does four aught. This small is, and as small as 8 gauge. Pretty cool that they let me borrow this. Look at that. All done. Man, that took, took, well, it took me 16 minutes. <laughs> 